All right, folks, I've made some pretty serious changes to the Ghost game uh, to kind of finalize it and make it a little bit more fun. Uh, let me show you it. There's still some bugs with it, uh, as with everything else. Uh, half the time it crashes uh, because we've added a winning detection code here. So uh, if I try to run it again, let's see if we can get a randomization set up where the game can actually play. Nope. Um, so here we go. Now we have a setup where we can actually play. You can see that the ghosts now track me, and now I have a goal that I'm trying to get to. Um, when the ghosts get on me, you can see here that I lose hit points and I eventually die and the game is over. Uh, so one of the problems with the game that I think you guys might want to try and fix is the fact that uh, sometimes when the game initializes, it initializes in such a way where the ghosts immediately kill me or I've already won the game. Kind of like uh, spawning on the flag in, in a game of Halo or something like that. It's just kind of a dumb place to spawn. Uh, so you have to hit the, the play button a couple times. Well, let me walk you through the changes here. Uh, in this block of code here, uh, where we've declared our vars, um, you can see here I've added a p font. Uh, that's just a processing font, uh, a class variable. So in other words, this variable f here is going to be related to the font, which is how I'm drawing that number 30 up in the top left of the screen. Um, we've added some hit points here, uh, which is obviously the hit points that this font is producing or showing you, and it's also how the game is de uh, detecting whether I've died or not. Uh, and I also added, the third feature is the goal. So how do you win the game? Well, you overlap the goal, the ghosts die. Um, okay. So those are the things that I've added. Uh, here in the setup, we've loaded a font, a specific font, into F. So F is our handle for our font. And I've kind of loaded this font into it. Uh, this is a little more complicated than I thought it would be. You actually have to go up here to the Tools button. Um, and you guys won't be able to see that because it's off my screen a little bit. But go up to Tools, so leave the mouse, leave the screen, and go up to Tools and go to Create Font, and it'll put a font uh, of your liking into the, the uh, into a folder for you. Um, and let me just show you what that looks like real quick. So you hit Create Font, uh, and then you can pick any of the fonts that are on your machine. So you want Onyx, and you can specify what size, and then it will dump it when you hit OK into the appropriate folder to match this uh, the project you're working on. I already did that though. So then you take the file name. This is the file name it gave me. I just copied and pasted it into here. So I loaded it up. Uh, we specify how big we want the font. Um, and then all this other stuff is normal. Uh, I'm specifying the where the goal is uh, randomly. You can see here I'm not letting it go off the screen. I'm giving it kind of a 40 pixel margin here for where the, the goal can randomly appear. And this is where the big problem with the game lies, uh, is this. These could overlap. Uh, because they're random and they're not intelligent, uh, I could be inside of the goal right away. Uh, and that's really annoying, because uh, you have to hit play a whole bunch of times sometimes. Uh, but, you know, you guys could probably fix that with a while loop, uh, and say, while these, you know, if these overlap, pick a new one until the game initializes right. But I'll leave that up to you. Uh, what else did we change? So down in the draw function, this is what's going to get repeated a lot. Our draw function has gotten a little bit big. Here's the end of it. Here's the beginning. Uh, we're still printing the background, and you got to do that first, otherwise the background will cover stuff up. Uh, then I'm printing out our text. So the text is printing out the hit points, and this is the location that we're going to put that text box. Okay, so this is how you know what hit points you've got. Um, I changed the mode of the rectangle uh, object so that it references the center of the object instead of the upper left corner uh, so the ghosts attack my middle and not my side. Um, I printed the hit points down here while I was debugging. Uh, we don't need that anymore. We can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, I added this if statement here. Uh, and this if statement uh, tells if you're not on the goal. So this whole statement here evaluates true if you're not on the goal. In other words, the, the difference in your two positions is bigger than 20. Okay? And if, it's, if you're not on the goal, then Casper and Inky and Waffles get to chase you. Otherwise, if you are on the goal, oops, the player wins and you get to exit the game. Uh, final thing I added to draw here, uh, if your hit points drop below zero, you die. So the game exits. Okay, well, so all that seems nice. You know, we've checked for winning, but now we need to make sure we can actually kill the player. Well, that's something that ghosts do. So I put it down in the, the ghost class. I mean, I could have added a separate method for it, but really it's just, you know, we're just checking the difference still in our positions. So I made it a part of the chase method. Uh, and this is really all I added right here. This, wow, sorry, the highlighting today is awful. Um, if the absolute value of the difference between you and a ghost is less than three, 
and the uh, difference in the y direction is less than three, so you're actually on the player, uh, then the ghosts take off one hit point every repetition of the game. Okay, and, that, and the game repeats at a frame rate of something like 15 frames per second. So you've got yourself two seconds with a ghost on you uh, before it kills you. Uh, you can mess around with this number. You can mess around with the frame rate if you wanted. I think I want to make the ghosts a little bit slower, actually. Um, and that's, that would be controlled here. Uh, so this is annoying that I have these 3.5s in here four times. So I think I'm going to change that, actually, and create a new float called uh, ghost speed. And we can just call it speed, because it's just for this object. And then when we initialize it here, I'm going to say speed is going to be, uh, we'll give them just 3.0. And then down here, I'm going to change all of these back to speed. So I, don't have to, I only have to change one block of code at a time. OK. And so you can see here, our game is a little bit more fun. It, it kind of is starting to feel like an actual game instead of just uh, one of our little programming projects here. Uh, ooh, it initialized there. Ooh, I ran off the screen. I'm looking at the ghosts. See, they're a little bit slower. I'm going to try and outrun them. Oh, but I got one on me. Hopefully, I can outrun him. Uh, so I'm not losing hit points anymore, but they're still trailing me. And now if I can try and get away this way. Oh, geez. Okay, that guy never got quite on top of me. This is quite thrilling here. I should be able to outrun these ghosts. Um, oh, geez. When you change position there, it really kills you. So anyways, that's the game of Ghost. I'll put this code up online for you guys. Uh, have fun modifying it. Uh, remember, your goal is to modify my projects, uh, make them more fun, get into it, understand how the code works uh, so that you can pass my quizzes. Hey, fantastic. And don't forget, the uh, first quizzes are due by uh, June 22nd. If you don't take them, you are dropped or failed from the class, and you'll need to bring your computer back. Uh, but that won't happen, right? Right. All right, well, we'll see you guys.